Welcome back. Uh, I can't remember where we last left off, but let's still have some fun, play our best, and see how things go. So, yeah, as usual, uh, we will be playing, I think it's 10 minute Shogi, with has uh, no Bioyami, no increment. It's just straight up 10 minute. That's what we got. Um, and, yep. Oh, yeah, instead of practicing with a friend to make sure that... Last time after our contest, we had practiced with a friend who'd help us set up this layout that we're looking at today. I know the menu might not look perfect, but hopefully once we get into the game, it'll look nice. Here we go. Yeah, and just as a reminder... Um, Please, no back seating. Um. All right, here we go. Any minute now. Good luck. I seem to have picked a very combative opening. Um, and we'll see just what this ends up looking like in just a minute. Um, now I'm curious, do I want to bring my silver out toward this pawn immediately? Um, no, we're going to castle to the side. And as we start to build the castle, make more decisions about where the rest of the pieces go. Uh, yeah, this is awkward for sure. Um, Alright, we've built half Mino Castle. And not really paid a ton of attention to what our opponent's been doing. Our opponent seems to be abandoning this side of the board, so we're actually going to switch and perhaps play Yurashino strategy despite not having studied it. Um, this will be fun. So, there's this po Oh! <laughs> They're the downside of experimenting with new openings um, without having studied them first is that uh, you will be surprised what happens. All right, we're going to build um, Mino Castle and put some pressure on the edge file, and this should inspire the opponent to uh, to declare their intentions. Okay. This is a useful endgame move in general. Um, our opponent's not building the Anaguma castle because they've already moved their silver away from the corner. So, um, I'm not totally sure what they're up to. It's an interesting shape. I just, I'm not super familiar with it. Alright, and yeah, we will oppose this diagonal with our bishop. Oh wow, look at all these holes on the back row. Interesting. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, my silver is in a really awkward space. Everything about this position is awkward. Um... Let us break into the center of the board because our rook wants freedom. And their rook is trapped at present. And we can lure forward the remainder of their castle by playing these provocative moves. My king perhaps does not... Oh, they actually took it. All right. Was this their plan all along, perhaps? 
I'm not sure. But my silver is one step closer to their king. My pieces cover a lot of territory. Um, this next to their bishop is kind of vulnerable. Um, hmm. Oh, the bishop's head, of course. Okay, so we know our next target. Let's move, move, move. Time to let the tactics fly. Okay, that was more tactical than I expected. Um, somebody wants to see pieces get exchanged. All right, we have to exchange this. We don't really have much choice there. Uh, well, hang on. Oh my gosh. Nothing is pro well. No, their silver's protecting their rook. Um. They have a silver that protects their rook, but otherwise they would be in a lot of trouble here. Our rook needs freedom. So forward we march. Yep. Um. I mean, I get how this is awkward. I entirely see that, but what do you do about it? That's the question. I think I have to take this. So, luckily for them, the rook is not outright hanging. But, yeah, this is a tough position. Um... All right, forward we go. We can put a pawn right in front of their rook. Um, I mean, we could. Do we want to? I don't know. Maybe. Let's do something more aggressive. Just melt the entire... Oh, well, okay. This is more aggressive than I thought it was. Um, yeah, we're getting back into some kind of pattern. They threaten checkmate on the move, so I need to respond to this. Um, yeah, that's not good. Hmm. Well, that's painful. Go home. Uh, this is extremely painful. Um. All right, let's run. What can we do, right? Yeah, I missed that the knight was covering the square, in case that wasn't obvious, but this game got extremely contentious before that point anyway. Um, now we just have to hope we can outplay them in the end game, uh, which is going to be extremely difficult.
So, yep, they collect a lot of pieces. Um, I guess we'll take this lance. We might be able to use the lance in some sort of edge file attack. It's wishful thinking, but um, a lance is better than no lance. Okay, that's a slow move. Um, where do we want this silver? Well, we want it not in front of, like, Golden King here. Um, that's disappointing. I would try tricky stuff, but it just doesn't work here. So yeah, pushing my edge pawn is inevitable here. I'm just considering maybe I have more profitable things to do first. Alright, our silver comes back to the defense of the king. Our king is such a sitting duck here, but... Yeah, what can you do? Something. All right, let's chase the rook. That could be that could provide some entertainment. Try to provide some haven for our king somehow. Um, I am aware. Just continue running. Oh, can my silvers actually trap the rook? Yes. The answer is absolutely yes. My silvers can completely trap this rook. And I should have done this a long time ago. Um, but there's still time to make that. So that's the trap. Um, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. This rook does not belong here. And winning the rook is not my objective, but, um, it's just a side effect, so... My castle collapses, but we get a free rook. That's worth it, right? Um...
Oh, maybe my king needed to run up the board. I don't know. We'll, we'll give the opponent something to think about. Um, <laughs> my king is so screwed. Um, oh, well, okay. Where's the... Oh, my lance can't protect that. My mistake. All right, congratulations. Well played. Oops. I thought my lance had that square covered. Because I thought my lance was a knight. That, like, a knight could cover that. A lance could not. I was considering doing a knight drop to try to protect this sort of thing, but, um, oh well. So that's game one. One down, two to go. Good luck. Alright, maybe we do slightly less experimentation this time. Oh no. Um, uh, this is going to be fun. Let's have fun. If we say we're having fun, then it must be fun, right? Alright, what's the deal with this silver? This silver looks very aggressive. Unnecessarily aggressive. Um, uh, I've just invited that silver <laughs> into my camp. And thankfully my opponent did not take advantage. Um, hmm. That could have been really sharp. What the heck do I do? Alright, let's try this. Sudden transition to third foul rook with incomplete castle. Um, Yeah, I think I am lost already. This is not good. Um, I am definitely borderline lost in this. Oh! Oh, we're going to get our Rook active. Oh, that is such a huge relief that I'll have at least one active piece in this game. So that was looking extraordinarily sketchy for a minute there. Um, yeah, now we have actually can do a Rook drop, and their king is extremely exposed. Uh, this I did not expect. We'll roll with it. Okay. Long thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see, the clock does show in this capture, right? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, I think this rook ex either they're con contemplating my demise or realizing just how complicated this position got. And I'd like to hope it's the latter, not the former. I have a bishop on the center square. Um, able to drop a rook to make things exciting. They don't have a gold in hand. If I drop my rook, they'll drop a silver. So that's not so bright. Let's just keep our bishop on this long diagonal here. 
Or I can threaten to put a knight and hit the silver or hit the lance. This basically compels them to put something on 5-5. Five five or face tactics. Uh, I guess they're considering this rook for bishop sacrifice. Um, oh, wait. Wait. Uh, I've got tactics. I didn't realize I had so many tactics here. Oh, this is good. Boom! Alright, that's fun. Striking pawn extremely deep in the enemy camp. Boom! Hits the gold, hits the knight, hits the pawn behind it, threatens rook promotions, threatens a silver drop behind here. Right. If I had another pawn, you know it would go right there. I don't have another pawn, but I can have a silver. How adventurous am I today? Um, in for a penny, in for a pound. All right, let's sack the house. Let's go. Let's go. It'd be great to have another pawn. Oh, wow. Really? None at, a time, at a time like this, we're going to go there. All right. I guess let's take a one space gap dragon. Um, in hindsight, promotion might have been wrong, because now I can't take backwards diagonally here. Promotion could have been a mistake. Um, hmm. All right, the threatened checkmate, so I can't completely ignore that. All right, so we will check. King escapes. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, well played. Well played. I need to pay a little bit of attention. Yeah, that's mate next move. All right, well, we tried. Uh, let's try once more. Oh boy. Alright. Good luck. It's not another 1Q. Oh, I get to play Senta again. I guess the site is taking pity on me today. Um, sure, why not? Alright, we're gonna play... Um, half Mino Castle. Maybe actually defend our king this time. Mm, I think this is okay. It's still awkward, of course, but I've not blown the game just yet in the opening. Um... I do want to push the edge pawn on the right. Um, so this completes half Mino. Um, you know, put the king into the half Mino and wait for what they're planning to do with their king. And give our bishop another line and put pressure on the edge. And they're ignoring this again. Or a different opponent, but they're allowing me to get this vanguard pawn. Um, so that's supposed to be advantageous for me to get this pawn up here. I'm not super familiar with the best way to use it. Um... Yeah, this bishop and silver should apply pressure. I'm still debating, do I want to push on the third file or not? 
Okay. Wow. That makes sense. I am very much feeling the heat after that one. Okay, yes. I mean, that's a little closer than I would have put it, but fine. Um, it actually kind of blocks your other pieces there. Let's get the silver out and doing something. Oh, right, so yes, of course, Lance takes. Why did I forget that's possible? I don't know, but now I'm basically lost. Um, let's just pretend things are okay. They're, oh, I've never seen this before. That's really clever. Well, <laughs> what do we do? Lance takes, Lance takes, Knight takes, and they just continue dropping pawns. So, our king needs to run. Um, like, this has to be attempted. It's not going to work, but I have to put pressure on their king. And it's just, like, going to be super unsuccessful, but we need to try it anyway. Yeah, this rook and lance combination on the edge. Very clever. Well, at least, for me, it was surprising. That really doesn't say much, but I thought it was nice. So we're going to pawn drop right there next. Um, yeah. You get a pawn, I get a pawn. Let's see if somehow I can maybe produce something out of this. Um, we're going to just continue attacking. We don't really have a choice at this point. Bring the knight, bring the bishop, use the lance. Their attack is... Like, we're using the same attack our opponent is, and theirs is faster. Um, so this has, like, no chance whatsoever of success. Um, but we can try it anyway. This frees the way for my rook to run over toward the edge. Trying to produce the same attack that they're doing, just slower. Um, yeah. It will take a miracle to survive this. Uh, let's pray. Wait, is our bishop useful? Yeah, we need the... We can't sacrifice the bishop just for fun. Um... We do actually need to try to play this correctly. So, yeah, as, as fun as the bishop sack looks, we need to do knight takes instead. And this prepares the way for our... Well, bringing the lance up is perilous. Everything is perilous here. Um, but, yeah. I mean, what can I do? So... I could put the lance on this second file. I'm not sure that'll ever lead anywhere, but um, we need every attacker we can get. Okay, wow. Um, this is sharp. Okay. Nanafu. check. The check is to chase, so checking is completely useless, but um, we need to, like, approach their king somehow. I'm making way for my king to escape into the corner. It's not going to work for, like, a trillion different reasons, but, um, Really, at this point, I am so hosed that I'll have to try whatever I can do. Um, that's clever. Alright, 
Uh, is there anything... I don't have a clever response to that. Hmm. That's a problem. Whatever, let's just keep going. Let's see how that ends up. Um, I'm going to give my bishop something to attack. And now my bishop attacks the target. Um, it's not a good plan, but it is a plan. And it is giving my king more room to run. <sighs> This is such a bad plan, but, um, I don't know, it's good to have a plan. So if you have a favorite out of these three games that you think I should submit for Shogi Harbor to review, let me know. I'll take it under consideration, but probably not submit any of these, because I am so embarrassed. Yeah. Alright. Um, our rook is attacked. Let's protect the lance. Try to get the rook over and attacking somehow. My king is super duper toast. Um, well, that's not even check. All right, whatever. Um, time for the grand brilliancy that justifies my entire play thus far. Um, yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing. Go for me. Um, okay, a rook needs freedom. A rook needs uh, like our king is mated in the middle of the board in such a beautiful way um but i think this prolongs the mate as long as possible i considered bishop takes knight it does nothing to help me get out of this um right so my king is trapped um Right, freelance. I mean, yeah, the king wants to run up, but the knight and potential gold drop would cover this. So, so that's how I end up playing this move. Right. And they correctly shut off my avenue of escape. Um... Mm 
Yeah, is there anything I could do to continue fighting here? It's not looking good. Alright, we just throw a lance to the wind. And the hopes that they'll let the king run out. Okay, yeah, they made me. Well played. Alright, well, that was very swift. Went about how I thought it would go all three of those games, honestly. Um, so, thanks to all my opponents for these exciting games. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll get back in shape sometime. I was a bit surprised to see them all playing third foul rook. I guess there must be a new trend these days. Um, so I'll have to catch up to speed on some of that. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.